Hi guys, it's Shasta from Faithfully Free and today we're sharing our outdoor spa makeover. Now as you can see, our spa was definitely not up to date. Um, it wasn't really the look that we were going for. We just kind of threw it up and we knew that we wanted to do something different with it, but we kind of wanted to get it up. Um, so we just kind of went with what we had, but now that we were ready to update, we decided to take up the patio that was existing before we put the spa up. So it had been up there for quite a few years. Um, so the pavers had kind of settled. So we decided to pull all of those up and we set them aside because we knew that we were going to use those again. And we also, um, ripped up all of the framing that had been used to hold the pavers in place and that entire walkway just had to go. So we knew we wanted a completely different look for the spa area and we went ahead and painted the side of the house because it had been a few years since that had been done. Um, I'm not really sure if you can tell from this video, but I definitely could tell. If you really look at the sides of the house there, you can see what's going on. Now we did not replace the wood there just because we knew that we were going to be covering that up, so it seemed kind of pointless to replace that wood. Now, if we weren't going to do that, then we would have replaced it, but since we were just covering it up, we didn't do that. Um, like I said, we broke away all of that uh, wood framing there, and we pulled that off and got rid of that as well, uh, which we didn't get rid of the pavers, just the wood. Um, it was pretty old and starting to rot on the bottom. If this is a project that you're thinking about doing, it was definitely a chore, but it can be done. So we hope that we inspire you today as you watch this video. Once we got all of that done, we decided to build a completely new frame. We went with a different size. We wanted it to be bigger. We do have an, that inflatable jacuzzi that you saw, so we wanted more space. So we built our frame, got that all set up, and then we put it in place. And like I said, you can tell from just from looking at this video that it was um, much bigger than the one we had before that. And we went ahead and started cutting the boards to fill that, fill that frame in. We have a little helper. You have to have help. If you don't have people helping you, you might just go crazy when you're doing a project like this. You run into so many things, so many little issues along the way. So sometimes it's nice to have some comic relief. Little guy with a rubber mallet is always helpful. All right, now you can see we're doing the walkway. And we went with the, instead of doing all the pavers this time, we knew we would need all of those pavers to fill in that one patio area. So we decided to go with a wooden walkway this time. And of course the storm hit while we were at the tail end of this project, the last hurricane, so that was fun. Now we're filling it in with sand and making sure it's level. Always the most important thing when you're working with pavers. The last thing you wanna do is have uneven pavers. You don't want anybody to twist an ankle. You don't want anything falling through, so make sure you wet it, keep it even. You gotta think about when rain's gonna fall. You don't want anything shifting. This is always the most tedious part of any job when it comes to working with pavers. And we did have to cut some, which is never fun. But hey, that's what you do when you do it yourself. You know what to expect. So you see that smile on his face? You've got to keep a smile. Of course, we lost our helpers by this point, but you still have to keep a smile on your face. Got everything wet down, it's starting to look really good. I love the way that wood looks, but we are gonna stain it. We didn't get it done for this video, but we will show you the finished pictures later on. Okay, so I'm losing you. All right, so we're starting our frame for the actual spa. I like to call it room, the little room area. So we're, we're getting our frame done for that. As you can see, you always gotta keep it level. It's coming together. I'm so excited. Are you excited? You should be. All right, you can see the wires coming through because the best thing about having spa is the ambiance. So you have to have lighting. Now, I don't know if you can see that lighting, string lighting. It's a, it's a big thing right now. If you look on Pinterest, it's all about the string lighting. Everybody loves the string lighting. So that's what we're gonna have going on here. 
Not only do we have this room coming together, this little spa room outside, but we also have this lighting that's going to go in these boxes around the top of this around the top of this little room that we have outside. And you're going to see us drilling the holes. I say us, really it was all him, but that's okay. It's coming together. It's just so amazing to watch these projects come together and see what you can do when you put your mind to it. Now, this design was completely his design. He thought about this. He actually based this entire design off of these lights, if you can believe that. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, so here's the box that he built for these lights. So see how he just drilled those holes in. We've got a couple pictures out of order. Sorry about that. And then he, so he puts this board up, drills the holes, drops the lights down in. And these lights are outdoor lights. So they are waterproof and they are made to be outdoors. So they're indoor outdoor lights, but they're going to be fine outside. They'll last. So we don't have to worry about that. And then he's going to run these cords through. That way you can't see them. And you just plug it in and bam, ready for a spa night. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry about the vertical pictures. How awesome is that? I mean, seriously, guys, tell me you would not love to come to this spa party. No, we're not really having a party. I'm just kidding. Maybe we will. Then you get in the spa ready. Sorry, the pictures are a little blurry. I was having a hard time with the nighttime camera. Seriously? We've got a little door to hide everything. I mean, look at that. Is that not amazing? You can do this, people. You can do it. Tell me the before and after pictures are not phenomenal.